Hey everyone, my name is Ammunition, and welcome to the Intel Streamers Bootcamp. Today we're going to talk about taking clips from your Twitch live streams and posting them to Twitch, YouTube, or other video services in order to maximize your content and increase your audience. So you've had a great stream, but now you want to save some of those clutch moments into highlights or clips for your audience. In this video, I'll discuss some popular software options for you to give your videos a more permanent home on the internet. Here's what you need. A desktop computer with an Intel Core i7 processor. You could use a laptop, but it's usually much easier to stream and record on desktop PCs, which are traditionally more powerful and can support things like multiple monitors. You'll need a stable internet connection. Twitch streams are usually best with at least 5 megabyte per second upload speeds. You'll need a Twitch account and a YouTube account. You'll need some content that you'd like to stream. You'll need to download some streaming software, such as Open Broadcast Software or XSplit. I personally use OBS. Optionally, you'll need a high quality camera. Some streamers opt not to use a camera at all, but a camera can be a good way for your viewers to put a face with the voice. The first method is super simple. Twitch makes it very easy to export your broadcasts to YouTube or to make highlights which can live on your Twitch page forever. To get started, make sure your YouTube account is linked with your Twitch account. Next, navigate to your Twitch channel settings and turn on Automatically Archive My Broadcasts. After a stream, go to the video you want to export to YouTube, open the menu and hit Export. Fill out the details and send your video to YouTube. The second method is a little more complicated. If you want to make a more polished product, you can open your clips in a video editing software such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, or one of the other many free online tools. And you can make montage videos, which you can then upload to either Twitch or YouTube. YouTube also offers some basic video editing tools which are free and relatively easy to use. In whichever broadcasting software you're using, there are settings to automatically save your stream to a local file as you broadcast. This process is pretty demanding on your PC, so it requires a very strong CPU to both live stream and local record at the same time. If your PC isn't strong enough to handle both live streaming and local recording at the same time, there are a couple methods you can use to get around this. Firstly, and most simply, you can easily create and download Twitch clips, which can then be opened in your video editing software. The downside being that you can't easily pick and choose the start times of each clip, and they are limited to 30 seconds in length. The second method is how I personally grab longer segments of my broadcasts to edit later. Thanks to a dev named Franiac, aka Fake Smile Revolution, there's a utility called Twitch Leecher, which allows you to download videos of any length and at a variety of quality levels. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it helped you in some way with your content creation. For more Intel Streamers Bootcamp videos, take a look at the links at the end of this video and check back often for more videos on newly released topics that can help you with your streamer and content creator experience.